Hey Chappies, welcome to another installment of Valiverse Action Force Covert Customs. Uh, this time we'll be looking at what I'm calling a Steel Brigade Ranger. And you'll immediately recognize that this is based almost entirely off an earlier design, the uh, Jungle Ops Steel Brigade Trooper. Uh, with more parts at my disposal, I was able to refine this and give the character or the uh, soldier a, a broader specialization in the context of action force so i'll go down the list of all the different parts we've got going here i just i, I just really like this look folks um, uh, that's why i'm revi uh, revisiting this particular uh, character design here so we've got a uh, steel brigade helmet from the steel brigade gear set the green helmet and uh, which matches uh, a delta troopers uh, green almost perfectly and so that's why I've given uh, this figure a, a Delta Trooper's upper torso. The legs is a version one Sergeant Slaughter's legs with the camouflage on them. The uh, arms, uh, I think this is actually Bone Collector's arms. However, a Spec Ops Trooper's arms are identical. Those would work just fine as well. If you don't like the, uh, the black against the green there, uh, feel free to use the Delta Trooper's arms. The uh, hands are from the uh, Night Ops Steel Brigade Trooper, the uh, Big, uh, Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. And the boots are from a, a, a regular Steel Brigade figure with the uh, silver uh, buckles on them. I think we've covered all the body parts now. The accessories, a lot of this comes from Trigger from Series 2. The uh, webbing is a, is a darker brown than the uh, Version 2 Sergeant Slaughter's webbing. Went ahead and used Trigger's belt as well. As, and also the um, uh, holster and uh, the med pouch. And we've rounded things off with uh, some stuff from a backpack gear set. A uh, big green backpack and a green shoulder satchel. This is light infantry, so there's not a, a body armor as such, not, a, uh, not even a plate carrier. This is just the webbing. And I like this webbing for several reasons, one of which it, it's a cinch to take on and off. It's just, you know, one button, one snap, and it comes, you know, there's no, you don't have to mash it with pliers or anything to get it down in there. It, it lends itself to posability at the waist quite well. Lots of ab crunch, lots of good posability options here. And um, as far as uh, artillery, uh, I like this uh, Chris Vector with the uh, black and silver aesthetic. This is from the uh, Crimson, Arsenal, or Crimson Shadows Arsenal as is the long arm. I'm not going to take it out of there. That's a M9 with uh, some silver highlights on it. Okay, uh, um, uh, The M9 that comes with the Steel Brigade Trooper would work just as well with this, as would any that have brown or green paint applications on them. Okay, But I just, I, I like that silver next to what, you know, sort of a carbon fiber and silver or gunmetal silver aesthetic. I think that looks pretty good. Matches the uh, face shield on the helmet as well. So there you go. And I envision this character as a ranger, as, you know, a, a patrolling soldier and, you know, covering a large area of frontier or wilderness, just like the, uh, the Army Rangers or even the, you know, the Texas Rangers from history. And since uh, Vala has gone on record stating he will not be producing Action Horse, well, he's, this guy's going to need some uh, transportation. So for now, until something better comes along, I'm, I'm rolling with the... Uh, uh, classified ram cycle that that green matches the uh, uh, the green aesthetic with this quite nicely and i think i'll put this one on display on the ram cycle at some point uh you know, i envision these steel brigade rangers they don't get back to home base much you know they're they're they they live out of their backpacks which is why i put such a large backpack with a you know presumably a bedroll and a mess kit and all the comforts of camping uh, in there as well possibly even some extra uh, fuel f for the bike unless, you know, in the in the Valiverse there's some sort of alternative energy source uh, during the uh, uh, you know, four or five years in the future. I think that's how, that's where it's set. But, uh, no, I like this. That's why I wanted to revisit this. Now uh, it's perfect. Now this is me living vicariously through Valiverse as far as the promise of the Steel Brigade figures from the late 1980s. You know, you write your own file card, mail it in, and get your own Steel Brigade figure. This is the full realization of that, using parts from other figures. I have created uh, the figure I want to be. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, uh, there's no code name for this figure. You know, Even in my wildest daydreams, I'm not important enough to have a code name, but... 
rank-and-file trooper is good enough for me. But I think this looks incredible, and I'm looking forward to posing him on the uh, the bike. A Captain America's World War One bike, or World War Two bike, might be uh, more suitable. I just have to get one of those and see, but for now, the Aram cycle is, is perfectly uh, fine for this particular uh, action figure. Good pose I've got him in here. Nice, real nice to po uh, pose here. And I like this one, and I was happy to... To, uh, and again, this is you know essentially the Jungle Ops Steel Brigade Trooper, but with some different loadouts, some different gear, and, and a broader specialization. You know, sort of a U.S. Army Ranger, and uh, so I think it looks really cool, pal. Okay, and I hope this inspires others to uh, do some customizing with your figures. Now, I don't, I don't paint the figures. I don't, you know, I don't use any glue. I don't use any modeling clay. I don't, and I don't really want to draw from other uh, sources, you know, the vehicle notwithstanding, in order to create these. This, this is all Action Force parts to create this new Action Force custom, okay? Well, thank you so much for watching, pals, and I'll uh, talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.